Hey guys, Scheme Rhythm here. Um, just going through, this is a little addendum, I'm a little late, I know, but I finally got around to recording the Lotrek and Ornstein fights. Um, this is in my New Game Plus Plus file. So I'm wearing stronger armor and I have miracles because this file is like an all-out attacker because, you know, my first file I didn't really know how to allocate my stats or anything like that, so I just kind of put it into everything. So I've got like 40 dex, 50 faith, 40 strength, something ridiculous like that. And um using Sunlight Spear here as well. <laughs> uh, um, basically... You can you, as soon as you use the black eye orb, you invade into the 3v1 fight. And um, what I like to do is just pull out the bow and take out the mage from afar. Um, Full Metal got it right whenever he said you should take out the mage first, because that's a major headache to be dodging spells while you're also trying to fight Lurchrek and the guy with the spear. And I go ahead and speed it up. And you know, Windows Movie Maker on this laptop also decides to raise the pitch of things that you do. So, yeah, that happens. But, um, anyway, this file is currently a level 155 Dark Moon Blade. At the time of this recording, it was a level 149, but anyway, um, my vitality is at 20, actually. So my vitality here is the same as it was in my other file, in my LP file. And even with this armor on, um, Lotrek can pretty much two-shot me. So it's a and his show tells he uses two show tells and um, the right trigger attack strong attack for a show tell actually goes through a shield like the shield doesn't stop the attack at all so that's the really inconvenient thing about it and it takes a shitload of arrows to do this and right after this I get the hawk ring which I could have probably used at the beginning of this but anyway. Um, right now I've got the wolf ring on to increase my poise so I won't stagger. But um, once you do this, um, you can you can try to hit the guy with the spear next, but he's usually going to aggro towards you right away. Um, and whenever he aggroes towards you, usually the track will follow him. So my preferred thing, I, after a while I just said screw it, so I just went ahead and started and just walk forward. So I use Sunlight Spear here. Sunlight Spear, you only get five uses, and it uses two assuming slots, but it's pretty badass. <laughs> it knocks them on their ass. And I think it's actually doing more at this point than um, Great Fireball would. Kinda like how it missed low track would hit the knight behind him. But anyway, uh, I don't I don't even get to hit low track at all in this with the uh, lightning spears. So the weapon I'm using is the Great Sword of Artorias. Um, if you decide to go beyond the normal max that's associated with PvP, uh, Great Sword of Artorias is a good consideration because it's got CCBB scaling. That's C for both intelligent for uh, strength and dexterity, and B for intelligence and faith. And you see, I killed Lotrek by stunlocking him with it. Um, you can do the same thing with the Black Knight Great Black Knight Sword. And you see there, I uh, went ahead and finished it off by killing that guy. But um, the Great Sword of Artorias, a New Game Plus Plus, is going to be doing about the same as a Black Knight Sword Plus 5 will in a standard new game. So I think that's a pretty accurate uh, little translation there. You can see for killing him, you get the Firekeeper Soul, Ring of Favor, and Protection, which increases your stamina, max stamina and equip load. Stamina, equip load, and health, excuse me. By 20%, which is a pretty significant boost. So when I played through this game the first time on this file, I equipped it right away, and unfortunately, it kind of turned into a crux because it took up a ring slot, and I wasn't upgrading my vitality and endurance, and so that's how I ended up at a new game plus plus with only 20 vitality. So yeah, and um, you know, I put all my Ornstein armor just to show it off because I like Ornstein's armor. It's actually saved me a few times in PvP because the uh, lightning weapons that they use aren't nearly as effective on Ornstein armor. So over here you'll find the Hawk Ring. The Hawk Ring is, of course, behind the blacksmith. To get to it, you could kill the blacksmith, but good luck with that. So, but my preferred way is just, you know, get around him, and voila. 
So, and then to get back, you just have to do that. So yeah, and just nice little pose for the camera there. So I'll see you. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm narrating this entire thing. Post commentating. Right. So. All right. So uh, yeah, we're we're fighting one side and small, right? Um, someone does a phantom. This is actually in my original LP file that I ended up being supplanted by my ketchup LP file that I'm currently using. That's you've seen in the or probably seen in the parts beyond this one. So, um, right now I'm using a Black Knight Sword, I don't remember if it's plus two or plus five, but anyway, um, actually the guy that I'm, the guy next to me is using a Black Knight Halberd, he also has a Black Knight Great Axe, and his, with his hits, and our power combined, it's, I just said our powers combined, didn't I? Yes, I did. Unintentional Captain Planet reference for the win. Um, with our powers combined, we take him out about as fast as he would go down if it was just one of us fighting him, actually. Um, I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but fighting them one on one is hard as hell. Um, I've actually fought Ornstein and Smoth with Ornstein halfway down one on one before. It was not a very pleasant experience, let me tell you. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to. Make sure they're both on screen at once, which you know, you have a limited perspective when you're locked on. And uh, you have to, you know, there's a very small window or frame for you to attack. Now, whenever you're fighting Ornstein, Big Ornstein one on one, my biggest uh, recommendation is actually to try to bait him into using his butt stomp. When he uses that, um, just back off and rush in and attack him while he's recovering and then immediately raise your shield and back off. And if you do that, and only attack during that attack, and just make sure you keep your distance whenever he does his grab move, then you should be good. I understand the narration sounds a little weird on this, it's because I'm using my laptop's microphone. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'll see you guys when it's Let's Play Dark Souls, and sorry that it took me so long to upload this.